All right, we're here at ICAST 2023, and I'm with one of my good friends and sponsors, Caleb Sutton. Now, Caleb, you've, you've got maybe the best tackle, customizable tackle sword system that's ever come along in recent years. What makes you guys different than the competition? 100%. So the, the main thing is Busby is really known for durability and just like the excellent workmanship, right? So everything's just high quality, durable. Like if you want the best stuff, you really choose Busby. Um, so once again, super durable, waterproof, and then once again, completely customizable. So like our staple products, the Colony Tackle Boxes. So like all these bins snap out, customize them however you want. They go horizontal, vertical. And uh, so we really just want to give you a experience that is, you know, a good quality product that's durable, it's going to last for years, a product that protects your tackle, mm -hmm. and a product that's customizable exactly what you want. And it's resilient because I'm a saltwater guy. I'm, I've got that stuff laying in my small skips all the time. All the, the, the hardware that you use does not rust at all. It's UV proof up here. If my lures aren't getting faded or anything like that, I mean, I, I mean, I'm addicted to the customization factor that you offer because I'm that nerd, that tackle nerd. But. Your, even your rod sleeves are maybe the best on the market for the best value. A lot of people will look at this stuff and it's like, eh, tackle box is a tackle box, how do you make them sound sexy? But when you look at all the features that you offer, the fact that they're sun protected, you can lock them, and now I'm seeing this down here. I mean, we haven't even talked about the cubes, exactly. but, but you've got the hive now, so all the colony boxes and the cubes can fit in one big cargo box that you can load up. Exactly. So this is our this is our brand new product for iCast. This is the Hive 8X. So it's called the 8X because it, has, it actually has eight compartments if you use all of the all of the providers. But it's designed specifically to hold all of your tackle storage. So you can put your you know, all of your tackle boxes in there, your 3700 size boxes, you can put your quick cubes that are you know, the same size as these 3700 size tackle boxes. And it gives you an option to customize the box of your tackle storage exactly how you want with the dividers. So if you wanted, you could do half tackle boxes, you could do a couple quick cubes, you could use this area open for bulk storage, yeah. for uh, you know, jackets. Yeah, or, or anything you want. Yeah, exactly. it's, it's, it's perfect yeah. for that. Pliers, what, whatever you have. Exactly. You know, quick release stuff. And then from Busby, of course, it's like all the high quality stuff. So like the lids made from you know polycarbonate, same materials like waterproof glass. Got the waterproof airtight gasket, and uh, you know the bottoms, you know, super durable and everything. So everything you can expect from Busby included in this new Hive product here. Tell you what, that's why I'm with you. You guys make the best stuff. Appreciate you showing us around here at ICAST 2023. If you guys want more information about Busby Fishing, go to busbyfishing.com. Busby, busby.com. Busby.com. Yep. Check them out. It's going to change your tackle organization forever. All right, stopping by here at the Shimano booth at ICAST 2023, I'm with my good friend and contemporary, Benny Ortiz. Nice to see you, CA. So we have a couple new offerings this year. Uh, most importantly is the revamp of the flagship Calica. So we came out with Metallica 16 and 12 too. Um, so we're going to go through a little bit of the features and why they make them different. So first we're going to start with the body. It still has the Hagane body on it, so it's a very rigid construction. We also have about 6% smaller side plate, so it's easier to palm on oh, these yeah. reels, um, which is good. But most importantly are the internals. So what we've added is Infinity Drive into this. Uh, the Infinity Drive makes this reel about 30% less uh, force on the angler to crank under load. So when you have a big fish on there, it actually is easier to crank on this reel, but if you do get into trouble, we always have the two-speed button on right. it, so you can drop it into low gear on there. So you're going to go from a 5.7 in the high down to about a 3.1 in the, in the oh, low wow. ratio, so yeah, you can really cool. get some good cranking power on those fish. Um, also, they've added the X-Protect on the inside, so it's a labyrinth inside to stop saltwater intrusion, which is a big factor when you're offshore with these reels. Also changed out uh, the nuts on the side, so servicing is going to be easier. Went to a hex nut instead of the uh, instead of the Phillips head on there. Um, lastly, this thing has two other features. Most importantly, the drag washers inside, so the dual drag washer. So now we have more surface area on that. It's going to dissipate the heat better and have a more smooth drag. Uh, and then also we have a new cam setting on here as well. So we have, it comes with a stock cam, which has the typical Calica kind of steep drag setting. Right. By, by inserting that uh, light line cam that it comes with, um, now you can fish down, you know, down to 20 pound, 30 pound leader. I know some guys on the west coast that fish for tuna, you know, that drop down that leader, or for fishing for sales, it has a much lower drag 
bad curve on it. So you can, yeah, so you, can, you don't have to worry about popping fish off. Oh, it's just super smooth. One, one of the, the crazy things about Shimano is every year innovation it lives here. It really does. You guys come out with some great stuff. And if you guys don't know who Benny is, he is the king of the slow pitch jigging offshore. In fact, if you're not following him on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube, you should be. Let's move on. There's some more stuff I want to show you here at the booth. Moving further back in the Shimano booth here at ICAST, I ran into Richard Black, Black Fly Charters. You've got to be one of those guys that seems like you're a threat to win or you just win every tournament in Isla Mirada. It's just amazing. You and your father-in-law are good. God, you guys, it's just unfair. You shouldn't be, you should be a good ball. But what do you have new for, for the NRX lineup? Well, what we have new for the NRX lineup, uh, this is the NRX Plus Inshore. NRX Plus Inshore. Right? Ten new models. Okay. Uh, both casting and spinning. In the spinning lineup, um, excellent inshore technical sight fishing, throwing lures, any of that. Super light uh, spiral X construction, okay. multi taper design, which reduced the weight by eliminating some graphite. That's right. Not That's right. Because the taper is really the thickness of the wall. Correct. Correct. Um, a definite improvement too is titanium guides. Okay. So strong, strong and light and, and rust and rust no proof. More. That's so, right. Uh, we have a CI4 reel seat, which pairs Signature. great with some of the super light reels out. Um, the Vanfords and the, and 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 the Sustains and the Excels. Um, but just a, a really phenomenal rod, uh, American made blank. Nice. Um, it, it's, it's very top notch. A uh, couple, couple features too, uh, 840, okay. and, which is a zero power. Excellent for throwing like a shrimp with no weight with no at all. Weight at all. That's right. Um, that super light plastic, getting the casting distance, pairing with Power Pro, you know, five or eight pound. That's right. And uh, all the way up to, uh, you know, a, a four power. Uh, where, where you've got some oomph to drag things yeah. out from underneath the dock or a mangrove shoreline or something like that. So, a uh, great lineup. Um, I mean, it, it's awesome to have an RC. Sure. It sure is. And the NRX series is one of those high quality, I mean upper echelon rods that we have here at G Lumis that, that's going to be a difference maker for a lot of those it, it is, and it, it feels that way. Yeah. Too. I mean, the, the rod can, itself, you can, tell, you can tell immediately when you pick it up. Yeah. Well, let's move on. Let's try to find out more about the, uh, the Stratic. I've got to look for my friend JP DeRose next. Still here in the Shimano booth. I cannot get out of here. You guys. You guys have so many cool products that get dropped every year, but this is a product that hasn't changed in like four years, and now we've done something different with the Shimano Stratic. What have we done? Absolutely. So it, the life cycle of all Shimano reels are usually between four and five years, and trickle down is the word we use. Okay. Stella FK was introduced last year. All of the top technologies start at Stella and then trickle down the line pervasively. So Stella gave us four new tech features that okay. went into the new Stratic FM. First one, Infinity Drive. No doubt, I just touched the handle and the damn thing just made three rotations. It's unbelievable. So traditionally, all our spinning reels, the main drive shaft is supported by the pinion gear. That's right. Now it goes through the pinion gear. It's got two bushings, low friction bushings on either side. So you have way more torque under load. So when you're pulling on a big redfish and trying to wind them in. Instead of it binding, it's just free. It's, yeah, you're, you don't have two things sitting on top of each other, it's going right through right. it. So it's supported by the pinion gear now. What uh, I love about you, you explain everything in plain, plain terms. <laughs> and the other thing they did is they changed the drag washer. So traditionally, Stratic had a felt drag washer in the 1000 and 2500, and they had a cross carbon drag washer in the 3000, 4000, 5000. Well, they've taken Stella's new drag washer, the Duracross drag, okay. which is a woven carbon fiber drag. So it's the benefit of felt, which it offers smoothness, right? but the durability across carbon. That's right, and still dissipates plenty of heat. Exactly, so it's a, it's a durable, smooth drag, so that's Duracross. The other thing they did is they took Stella's drive gear, Infinity Cross, so it's still Hagane gear, still cold forged aluminum, right. micro module 2, 2 nice pattern. And rigid and yep, smooth. Yep, strongest gear in the industry, but they took the Infinity Cross tooth pattern, which disperses load over the entire Start tube. Two. Rather than having a hot spot that's taking the load or the brunt of the winding, so when you put Infinity Cross and then Infinity Drive together, you've got an incredible. You've got a monster. You've got a monster. And then the last thing CA is the anti-twist fin, which is a small rubber 
arm oh, that sits that. up under the line roller, which yeah, that's so pretty cool. You're like me, you fish a lot of floral to braid. Yeah, that's right, I do. Okay, so if you run long leaders, this can be an issue. This is really designed for slack line fishing with straight fluorocarbon or mono. Very easily, it's rubber, pair of needle nose, it comes right out if you are a braid to floral guy. And then everything else is really the same that we've come to expect. Pagane metal body, long stroke spool, yep. SARB 6 plus 1 bearings, you know, all the all the toys that we love about Stratic. Oh, have and have X-Protect for your saltwater. Yeah, and which is, which is huge. Which, yes. It, it, it's just amazing the durability um, that you guys put in the resiliency into these reels. That's why you guys are number one. It really is. I'll tell you this, the engineers in Japan do not stop. They're working seven years ahead right now. So they're they're coming out every year. I'm seeing the product become better and better and better. But the best thing is the price never changes. Still 199 to 229. Yeah, that's that's so important. This Very. is going to be in everybody's boat. Everybody, bass guys, snook guys. This everybody. it's been the one, right? Scott, yeah. it's been the one since 1990. That's right. It's been so steady Eddie. Yep. Hey, if you guys want to learn more from JP, check out his YouTube channel. This is JP DeRose. He knows, I mean, he knows tackle. Someone that you should be following. Here at the Aqua Traction booth, and I'm with my dealer, actually, Brandon Woods. You, you're part of this. Man, you guys have, I'm going to just say, a badass booth. They've got a Hell's Bay Biscayne in here, all decked out. Your personal boat. And you've got about every pattern that you guys make. It's all here on the floor, so you're walking on aqua traction when you come in. It's just not on the boat. It's everywhere. What are some of the benefits uh, of the aqua traction product compared to competition? Without saying competition's name, just what makes us better? Well, and that's why we're here. We're showing the floor off and the differences. The biggest difference is, is we're a higher density product. Uh, it's more durable, easier to clean, it's non-porous. Lots of things separate us from our competitors, which is the density, the product itself, the fact that we use a polyethylene blend and not an EVA blend, and that it can take the harsh environment and harsh chemicals when cleaning it. And it just it cleans up easy and, it, and it's still very, very comfortable. You, you've done one of my boats you did almost three years ago, and I've got another boat that's got almost two years on it, and they're outside every day, and, it, and they look brand new. They literally look brand new. And and I'm just really hitting it with a dock brush. Most of the time, I'm not even hitting it with a pressure washer. If I hit it with a pressure washer, I'd beat it twice as fast. But it's just, it's an amazing product. It's just amazing what you can do with logos, uh, with inlays on this stuff. I mean, you change the look of the boat with off traction. Totally every, every boat, yeah. I mean, the, and, and that's the thing that we're known for is customization and working with the customer, giving them exactly what they want. We're not a buy off the shelf product where we, we customize everything we do and we just make it look pretty. Oh, your fit and finish is unbelievable. When you look at this stuff, it's crazy how tight it is around everything. Pulling platforms, I mean, it's like it was made like a glove for the boat. To me, it's a safety issue. It's a, a stain resistant issue. I mean, it, it provides everything I need. In fact, I'll never own another boat without aqua traction. I'm that confident. In it. it's, a, it's a great product. If you want to check these guys out or go to Brandon's website, how do they get in touch with uh, you? Aquatraction.com or Aquatraction North Florida, either one of those. And just hit us up on the website or social media and we'll be in touch. Or get down here to the show right now. Come That's check right. Out, check out this boat. It's beautiful. Here at iCast, it's me free. I'm with Anthony Alvarez and we're in the Power Pole booth. This is the busiest booth in the whole show. All you do is look around and you know why? Because you guys have the power pole motor. Yes, sir. Right here, this is our brand new LTV model trolling motor. So, no, no. For starters, start at the bottom where it counts. We have our in house design brushless motor. We know a thing or two about brushless motors because they've been in our pumps for a while. So, from there, that is our tech flow prop. Again, completely one off, engineered in house to give you maximum efficiency. I mean, absolute quietness. It, it is, we call it quiet, but it is silent. From there, we've got the beautiful titanium shaft. Lifetime warranty, top to bottom. If and whenever anything happens, we'll happily be in the system. This right here, though, that's the moneymaker. That is a planetary gear driven system. With a brushless motor, again, working in unison with a whole bunch of gears to turn it at a very low RPM and give you ridiculous amounts of torque. Right up there, beautiful little head. 
all of the GPS integration is right there in that head. You don't need to screw a puck down to your boat anymore. And that, and that is GPS drone integration. Correct. So yes. we're not talking about a whole, when you're on the anchor boat or whatever, I mean, you're not moving, you're locked in, solid. Because I've got one of these and it blows my mind how much quieter it is than even push pull. My, my logo has a push pole in it and I'm impressed. It's got to be the, and you know what's really impressive about this? This is 24 or 36, yes, same sir. unit. So if you had two boats, so you could have one trolling motor. Swap them out. You give it what it wants and you'll either get 78 pounds of thrust out of the 24 volt system or you screw 100 pounds of thrust out of the 36. Wow. Yes, sir. It is, it is an amazing, it, it's taken the industry by storm. Everyone's playing catch up now. They're not going to catch up. We're, you know, people think that this is something that we whipped up really fast, and there's been close to eight years of R and D. So throughout all of the revolutionary changes in the trolling motor industry, yeah, we've been silently watching. You have. Yes, we have. And that, and, and that is a good, that is a good term. Silently watching. We've been silently watching. Wow, that's torque. Yes, it is. Yes, sir, it is. Hey, if you're thinking even that much about getting a new trolling motor, you'd be a fool not to try out the power pole booth. It's going to revolutionize the industry, like you always do at Power We try to always stay ahead. All right, we finally made it to the Z-Man booth. I'm here with Jose Chavez. You probably know Jose from some of the hype videos that we do with Mac Hoover and from being on Flat Splash TV when we shot the Mullatron actual video. So let's talk about the Mullatron. This is new That's for 2023 going into 2024. Um, what sizes do we have? And, and just give us the breakdown of what the thing actually is all about. So basically we have two different sizes in Mullatron. We have a four inch version, which is right here, and also a six inch version. So this bait is really kind of keyed in towards targeting larger fish, okay. especially things that jump, you know, head shakes. And what makes it suited for that is that we have a pretty heavy duty hook, but the heavy duty hook is embedded in a line through harness. Ah, so it just slides out. So if you get a head shaking, juvenile tarpon, snow, big speckled trout, he's done for. He's done for because the, the bait will slide up the line and now you're connected directly to a hook. And this hook is really strong. It's got a very durable point that we put a double taper in. And the shape of the hook makes it to where when you hook the fish, it's going to push the fish past that point where he can't get rid of the hook. Absolutely. And it decreases the lever. So instead of being hooked up here, where there's much more leverage to open this hook because he's closer to the shank of the hook. He can't, he can't open the hook up no matter how big he is. And we were able to make up for the, thin, the thinner wire diameter. So it's still strong enough, but you get better penetration because the wire diameter doesn't make it so thick. So you can drive the hook. Very with smart. The very and I mean, for speckled trout enthusiasts, that means you're not going to tear a big hole in their mouth. Absolutely. If you're a redfish guy, you're going to have a nice thin wire, better penetration hook to get through that hard mouth of a red. I mean, really, well thought out, well thought out. And we've got to try this bait a little bit. We've got some really nice fish. On. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, you had a quite a bit of input in the development process of this, so it was really great being able to work with you and fine tune this to what it is now. Thanks to your help. So nice to have an alternative to the standard paddle tail. The wedge tail look is just a great look. It has a great wobble and very slow rotation on your handle. I mean, I like it a lot, and I like the big size, too. Yeah. That one's going to be a big smoke, a tarpon bait. I mean, you're going to be able to, you're going to really be able to up your game with that six-inch version. Absolutely. Those bigger fish, I feel like, have totally different, like, dietary requirements. And so looking for that big fish. Yeah. That big, that big speckled trout that that I might catch with Matt Chipperfield over on the other coast, or, or those big snook that we would see down in Stewart, Florida, around the docks. Mm -hmm. Or the tarpon there on the west coast of Florida. If you're, if you're looking for a different paddle tail, Z-Man has it this year, Mullatron. Mullatron, absolutely. It's a great one. Something that I'm really interested in. This is the air parent replacement for chin locks, or is this just going to be just a better mouse trap as far as EWGs go? Because this isn't really an EWG. This is a 
C W G. Yeah, it's definitely a little different. So I don't think it's show, gonna... show me the nuances of what's different about this one. There's one thing I particularly love about this one. So there's a, a few different things. So basically, we have a you know a super wire hook that will work well with braided lines, but. Some of the things that stand out are this bait keeper that's on the front of the hook near the eye, the silicone bead, the shape and position of the weight, and the weight that's numerical that's stamped here. So now you don't have to guess that's right. what weight you have. And, and I love that. I, I mean, because there's so many times I'm like, I don't remember which one it was, but now that it's actually enumerated on there, and I love the, the keeper bead yeah. because it keeps, you know, when you're a hard caster like myself, that, that tail wants to slide down a little bit. Sometimes you know, you're pulling it through grass, it'll slide down a little bit. That keeps it in position perfectly. Absolutely. And even with skipping, like if you skip it underneath, exactly. it just kinda, everything stays in place. Everything just, stays you know. in place. And the, and the new keeper is nice too. It's 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 pretty smart now when you look at it. So you get up there, you can have it set just right. And I'm going to push this through in the middle. And there you have it. It's rigged on there. Okay, and that little silicone bead, if you look real close, I don't know if I got too close to the camera there, but it keeps that from pulling down. So you, so many times, like you said, when you're skipping, that slides down, and then all of a sudden you're hooked in a mangrove root or on a dock filing, and, and this keeps that from really happening. It keeps the bait perfectly in place. There's no drag. You know what the weight is. And, and in the past, sometimes those little nodes that we used to use would come loose if they hit a dock piling, but that plastic one, no, not going to happen. Not at all, yeah. Uh, and I like the hook, too. The hook's a little thinner diameter, so you're you're a little lighter than before. I like it, the ZWZ. It's, a, it's an interesting you know, concept, and it's an upgrade. Absolutely. Now, and when is that going to be available to anglers and tackle stores? That's so my big question. We're expecting this inventory to arrive in October. So sometime in the middle of October is when you'll start seeing it at retail. So a few more months away. Months. Just in time for winter time. Well, next, I want you to show me that rattlesnake. That is a cool, cool. All right. This might be the coolest thing ever to kind of tame a last hit because one of the one of the properties about Elastec is its resiliency, yep. but it makes it tough in some instances to add like rattles and things like that. But the rattlesnaker, that's that, the solution. It is the solution. I saw Jesse Wright do a video on this on Instagram the other day. Amazing. You gotta check this out. Those yeah, so this is a great little product here. So like you said, like Elastic so durable that sometimes getting things placed inside of it is really complicated. It's a yeah. So we have the rattlesnaker, which is basically a precision insertion tool that lets you very precisely place this rattle anywhere in this bait. So it comes with a storage uh, little compartment back there. That is slick. Where we have some rattles. So we'll pull this rattle out of here. And the way this works is we have a plunger that we're going to disconnect for now and we have the needle portion of it. So now I can take my bait and I can insert this rattle anywhere I want. So I'm going to go underside belly in between the hook point and the eye of the hook. A natural spot for you. I'm going to insert this into here. So once I get it in. Kind of pinch it off. Yep. And then I take the rattle and I slide it in the back. Uh, that's where the plunger comes in. We bring the plunger out and then you just snap this shut and once it's snapped together you pull this part back out and the now rattles inside. there's a rattle in it doesn't deform your yeah. bait. And because the memory of Elastec closes over it's in there it's it, not coming out. It's perfectly sealed yeah getting this thing out of here would be complicated. And oh, this is going to be good on the crab yeah, and absolutely. on the easy shrimp. Yeah, there's not really it's like anything. a little croaker. Absolutely. Wow, the rattlesnaker. You gotta see this. I'll tell you what, go to zmanfishing.com, check out the rattlesnaker. Wow, great idea. All right, here in the Ray Marine booth here at ICAST 2023, I'm with Jim McGowan. Jim McGowan is basically the know how guy here at Ray Marine, <laughs> always has been. Uh, what do we have new this year? This is a pretty cool feature where you've integrated a trolling motor into our, our uh, into our display. So, teach me. 
Yeah, so uh, we know a lot of uh, anglers on boats of all different sizes are running trolling motors. Mm -hmm. um, and it's getting more and more important to integrate it with the other electronics on board the boat. There's some pretty cool advanced capabilities that you can do when you link them together. Um, so we have partnered with Rodan in this case, um, and we're using NEMA 2000 networking okay. to tie this trolling motor into our lighthouse operating system on Axiom. Um, so we have some on-screen controls. We swipe in uh, from the outside here, yeah. and this is what we call our trolling motor sidebar. Um, so I have some basic controls of the motor, so for example, if I want to you know, adjust the way that it's oh, wow. uh, pointing, I can do that. And you can anchor here? Yeah, we can uh, engage the slot lock, essentially, and uh, anchor on a position, uh, do that as well. And then and then I see here where you can literally set a path. You can. And then and then you can hit certain points, so you, you can literally pre-plan your trolling motor track. Sure can, yeah, you can drop in a single waypoint or a bunch of uh, waypoints strung together as a route, yep. um, and you can navigate, um, follow right along that path and you know, keep you on the fish or keep you on a contour, uh, however you like to do it. That is that is pretty cool. I I mean, it's it's one of those things that you guys keep innovating new things into our, into our electronics that I can use, whether you're a bass guy, an inshore guy, an offshore guy, this is helpful because trolling motors have become very popular offshore. As they well sure now. have, yeah, yeah, and it's just you know it's a great way to maintain that you know that slow control of the boat when you're on the fish. You know? it, it really is. Well, I appreciate you teaching. This is a pretty nifty new idea. I'm, I haven't seen this with anybody yet. This is pretty cool. Great. Pretty cool. Thank you for checking it out. Go to raymarine.com and take a look at this new feature that we have in all of our, our Raymarine Axiom units. So I'm here at ICAST. Now I've moved all the way down the aisle and I'm here at Hell's Bay Boatworks. Now everyone knows your brand as like the quintessential top of the heap, handcrafted custom boat. And I don't think there's an argument that you guys are the best for sure. No. But the the, the partners that you have in conservation is what really separates you from the rest. It's just not the boat itself. It's it's a lot of what this brand stands for. Because you guys are, you guys have been with all all these logos here: Guy Harvey yeah. Foundation, Everblades Foundation, Captains for Clean Water. You guys put your yeah, yeah, you you put your money where your mouth is. This this effort here in Lost Summers. What's it about? I don't know. I thought it was about we didn't get to go surfing this summer. <laughs> He's kidding. He's kidding. This this is an take action. Go yeah, for it. Go yeah, this is yourself. this is an initiative that has been started to help people get involved on signing a petition. We need a call to action. So when when you're looking at this and you see this in any of the partners for Captains for Clean Water, you see it in a local retailer or anything along that line. We want you to hit this QR code here and we want you to sign the petition. We need your help because if we're going to continue to have these algae blooms every summer, uh, and that's what End Law Summers is all about, we want to fish in the summertime. Exactly. And the only way to do that is start putting pressure on our state legislature to change some of the rules so that we don't have red tide and we don't have these algae blooms that are really well, they're taking away from our summers and getting our kids involved. You know, the great thing, CA, about Captain Clean Water is we've got a group of people who really have our back. When when we should be fishing, when I should be making boats, when I'm right. fishing, they're watching, and when they come out for a call to action, they'll go on social media or other things, and a call to action is they're asking you, the public, to do something. They, that's when they need us. So we don't have to pay attention. We just have to do what they tell us and this call to action in particular also is going to the federal government to try to get them to spend more money down in the Everglades and the EEA Reservoir. Um, but it's it's our voices that matter to the politicians and the policy makers. Um, and that's why they need a lot of us to, to, to really reach out on that call to action. And if you don't think that your voice doesn't matter, it really does. And I like to go back at times you know, back when we were kids, or maybe I was a little older than a kid, that story, uh, Dr. Seuss story of Horton Here's a Who, yeah. where the whole village, you know, they're about ready to boil the village or whatever right. they're gonna do on that thing. And and they find this one little kid who's not yelling to, to, for them to hear, hear them. Um, 
and when when that one little kid finally start joins joins, that's the voice that gets through, that gets the action that they save their little world. So really, we're all that way, and and. We need a collective voice, but we really need a loud collective voice, and every single voice matters. So, so when you see that QR code and they need you to do something, they make it easy for you too. That's the great part of their job. They make it easy for you and I, again, to do what we do, and then boom, sure. tell some legislators this is what we need to have happen, and then you they make it easy right from your phone, and then you can be that voice, and you might be that voice that finally pops through the all the other noise. You don't know when that is. Yeah, we need your voice, we need your signature, and we need your vote. That's the three things that we need at Captains for Clean Water. Join our ranks, and we all have a better Florida with clean water. Hey guys, wrapping up here just before the happy hour, which is going to be right here for Captains for Clean Water at the Yeti booth. Wanted to, to show you some stuff that's really been working for us. We've got these Yeti Go boxes. We've got them in the 60, we've got them in the 30, and we've got them in the 15. And if you're just a tackle guy that you, you want to store just random stuff, or you've got first aid gear, I mean, really, with the 15, you can even use it as a gun box. They've got everything here that you could ever want as far as secure, lockable storage with really good hinges, lock points. Everything is stackable. Uh, I love the new handles that we have now on the Yeti 30 Go box, but these have been great cargo boxes that we have been waiting for a long time, and they came out uh, about mid-year, and they're really catching fire, especially this king orange color. Yeti's also got some branded shirts now. They're making some sun shirts. So if you haven't checked them out, you should. They've got some great colors. They're all the tropical colors. And then the yonder, yonder bottles here from Yeti, they've got three sizes now. So we got the 750 milliliter, we've got the one liter, and now we've got the liter and a half. So for those of you that are on the go that don't want a heavier canteen, these are fantastic bottles. I've got one right now in my backpack. And I mean, we're getting ready to give away a boat here. We're going to give away the Hell's Bay Pro. And it's going to be given away this afternoon for Captain's for Clean Water for everyone that bought a ticket. So that's why we're really here, but I just wanted to show you around the booth. So let's come out here and see who wins. Hey guys, my last stop of the day, and we're here at the Yeti booth. And Yeti is a huge partner for not only the Flats Class TV brand and the Tidewater Diaries, but also for Captain's for Clean Water. So at this iCast, we are kicking off the sales of tickets for this boat that's gonna raise a ton of money for clean water. This is a 2023 Hell's Bay Professional. It is decked out with Sea Deck. It's decked out with Raymarine Electronics, power poles. It's got everything. It's got all the Yeti gear in here. I mean, copious amounts of Yeti gear in here. And all it's gonna cost you is 50 bucks for a chance to win and you're doing something positive. I mean, super positive for clean water. So help us out, join our ranks, come out. If you see any of the in lost summers, sign the petition and get in on this ticket deal. You can go to Captains for Clean Water and you can buy a $50 ticket right now at home. It's day two here at the 2023 ICAST and I'm standing in front of the Shimano Mastiff fluorocarbon prop here at the doorway. Let's go see Shimano's Bob Mahoney and talk about how they won the line category here in yesterday's product showcase. Come on. Back here at ICAST 2023, and I wanted to stop by one of the best booths in the show, in my opinion, because I love your mission with Mang. In fact, you guys are a great partner for Captains for Clean Water. You always have been. But tell me more about Buy One, Plant One, Kyle. So Mang was founded with one mission, and that mission was to restore mangrove coastlines. We call that buy one, plant one here at Mang. So for every product that we're selling, we're planting one mangrove for our customers. Not only are we planting the mangroves, but we're actually growing them at our nursery in West Palm Beach. So we're on the ground, we get the community involved, and you guys actually have opportunities to join our mission. And you guys got some crazy good artwork. I mean, this is some stuff that everyone would want, and it appeals to, to it anglers, casual just fans of nature. I mean, I'm looking at it right now and I was like, 
four or five of those those hats and those prints I definitely would buy. So if they want to learn more about Meng, what you do, the whole family business, where can they get it? Or where can they look for it? Absolutely. You can find it at menggear.com. That's our website. It's got all our great designs, all the artwork. And like you said, it's family owned, family grown. We do it all in house. We keep it local. Meng, it's, it's, it's where you need to be. That's it. Let's get it. All right, guys, sure. some exciting news here at Mirror Lord ICAST. You guys won the best saltwater hard bait. Yeah. You? you certainly did. And it's with the new surface walker, the Duke Dog. Tell me the story behind it. Uh, the Duke Dog, um, Eric had his dog, an Airedale Terrier, and came to work every day with us since it was a puppy. That's right. You know, he just recently lost Duke, you know, right. as he got older and finally past. Um, so in honor of Duke, we named this new Top Water, which all of our Top Waters have always been a dog. That's some right. Sort of top Dog, a She Dog, a Top Dog Junior, a She Pup. So we came up with the idea to go ahead and name this one in honor of Duke, the Duke Dog. The Duke Dog, I like it's it. It's a great little surface walker. It's going to glide side to side. You know, it's going to sit low in the water. It's going to move walk really easily from side to side, actually. And, and you were sharing with me that you guys have moved the hook hanger a little further back yes. so you're not going to get that that reach over and grab in the leader now. So that's always a problem with a lot of hard throwing top water bands. I'll tell you what, you got some great colors. That's really the other do. thing, you know, new inserts, just real contemporary look to them. And, and I love the fact that you guys, they won the category. They won the category. The Duke Dog. You guys are looking to get one. When are they going to be in retailers? They should be in retailers about two months. Two months. So we're going to probably say September, yeah. maybe October, worst case. Depends on you know distribution, getting them out, and then put into the school. If you want to learn more about Mirror Lure, where do they go? They go to shopmirrorlure.com, info at mirrorlure.com, you know, or our Instagram as well. All right, Mirror Lure. They're doing different things now. You gotta go check out the Duke Dog. All right, we're here in the Smith Optics booth. I've been with Smith for so long now and I've seen evolutions of glasses, uh, Lessio, over the years. How things, some of the frames have changed, some of the looks have changed. What's, what's some of the sport optics that we have now moving forward? I know that Embark's out there, uh, we've, we've had Boomtown out there, the spinners are out there. I'm a huge fan of Guide's Choice, but there's some new stuff that's coming. But what do we have just within the realm that we can talk about without letting the cat out of the bag that you can share with us today? Because I saw that you put an array of optics out here for me to look at. So I'm looking at the Embarks, and I've noticed that you guys have added these these sport bands. And I know this 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 particular glass was set up as more of an adventure glass, but it seems like a lot of fishermen are starting to use this. Now. Yeah, and they like, uh, we launched it in Bark for, um, as a glacier glass, but like, the main purpose for glacier glass is like to protect by the, the, the light, to shield the light, block the light. So we saw there's a lot of like, opportunity and resonance of, um, that this side has a lot of resonance in the, in the water industry as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's like, we ought to even perforate it, um, let's say, holes in the side shield to make sure uh, to have enough uh, ventilation. And yeah, like like you mentioned, like um, we thought about adding also um, a leash. It's a goggle-inspired leash to make sure that the frame stay, stays in place. Yeah, so. because when you're driving a boat or whatnot, you know, your glasses kind of like bounce around and it would be nice to have them set there so when you're looking at them, you know your navionics and you're you're rolling back and forth through these creeks you know, your, your glasses aren't creating a problem for you correct yeah they has to to stay in place yeah and indeed like as you can see there's like little little holes into the temples and you just need to yeah uh, just need to snap in and there you are it's also adjustable so yeah it's a super super helpful tool yeah and even with your guide's choice glasses for instance Guide Choice has been a, a big deal for me, even in the XL size, because I got the fat head. I don't have the, <laughs> the slim, cool head like you do. But I like it just because there's a leash in that as well. It's just a nice, thin cable leash. And right. it's like, yes. if I need to tie a knot, I can put my Smith regular script glasses on, tie the knot, yes, then yes. put these down, and then take care of it again. So Yes, yes. In, uh, in all our performance line, yeah, we and yeah, to include like uh, leashes, like in particular in guide choice, there's a there's a little uh, 
parts of rubber that pops out and yeah a leash is provided and just needed to to attach it there like to make sure that uh, the glass is in place yes so and since you mentioned guy choice is a um, it's one of definitely one of our best seller styles and yeah you mentioned the guy choice the guy choice excel and and yeah this year we we introduced it also like a smaller version oh, wow. for, for yeah, for, for people with thinner faces. Correct, correct, yes, yes. To make sure that there's like enough, enough, yeah, uh, the same thing. Right? So, yeah. so I'm looking at this lens here real quick, and I've got a question, because my wife's going to ask me when she sees these. It, kind of a different look, blocks a little light with the extra width here on the frame itself. These are, it looks like these are the shoals. Yes, and, yes, uh, they are. The, yeah. They're actually beautiful, functional fishing glasses that that actually have, I guess, fashion yes. included in them. So yeah, this is the the new shawl. Um, like you said, like there's a little little side shields to to have additional coverage. Um, we had already in our line Barra and Longfin that had like a similar feature, mm -hmm. but we want to expand a little bit the line to have a little bit more cat eye, uh, um, so different shape, uh, but at the same time include all the feature uh, that are really. Um, Important to um, yeah, yeah, people more. on the water. Yeah. So it has like um, mangled rubber nose pads and also uh, rubber on the temple to keep Com the comfort fatigue is, is, Correct. is much yes, dampened yes. by that. And it comes uh, with both uh, polycarbonate lenses. Uh, all of them are chroma pop, but also glass lenses. So it's very we know it's very very important like to have glass lenses. Uh, so yeah, this is like a new show. I like it. I like it. If they want to learn more about what's coming from Smith, where would they go? What website? So Smith.com is definitely a, a big platform, but absolutely, like uh, follow us on social. Uh, both, yeah. uh, I mean, Instagram is for sure is like one of the, the yeah the main channel. So yeah, follow us there. We have a lot of things on the pipeline, and in the next month, like there's gonna be some very cool surprises. Alessio uh, shared with me stuff that we can't talk about. I cannot, I cannot talk about it. But anymore, if you yeah. ask in the comments in six months after it's okay so he doesn't fire me, <laughs> I'll make sure I answer those questions for you. Thank you so much. Thanks for showing up here at iCast 2023. Thanks, Bob. See you next year. Good deal. All right, we're here at iCast 2023, and guess who I bumped into? Mr. Paul Payne, inventor of the Power Pucks. And speaking of power pucks, that's where the move fits on the best. I mean, when when I first got my brand new move, the first thing I did was order a power pucks. Tell me more about the power pucks. For those that aren't familiar with the product, what does it do? It eliminates the cords, but what else does it provide? Well, what it does is what we were concerned about first was safety hazards and eyesight. So we eliminated right. those. You know, got that cord off the deck. It's it's pretty to look at now you're throwing over. And it's, you know, no tripping hazards, no fly line catches, things like that. Those were the objectives that Power Pucks, Power Pucks uh, had. was designed for. But now we're going on year number four, where we've realized that we solved the big corrosion issue. Yes, you have. So, um, four years, no reports of corrosion um, at, at all, with thousands of these things on the water. I mean, it's, it's just... I, I'd say that that is probably the number one issue that we all had. Trolling motors don't spend any time to shop anymore because there's there's no nothing exposed to get corroded because it was always that plug or always that socket that was killing you. And now all that stuff's below deck. You never you never have that issue again. No trip hazard. And I gotta say, my move it's never looked sexier. Yeah. yeah. If you guys want to learn more about power pucks, where do they go? Well, you can come straight to our website. That's pwrpux.com. Power Pucks abbreviated. Um, go on there, check out our store. Check out our uh, our teams. Check out we got we got 75 professional guys, including Captain C. Pro staffers, right yeah. People that used to have to change their plugs out quite often. They don't anymore. Not anymore. Happen, so. yeah, and, you, and, and 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 basically, if you want one, just go to pwrpux right now. Go to pwrpux.com and get your power Pucks. Power Pucks. All right, decided to stop here. Last day of ICAST 2023. And Terry and Mike from Discover Crystal River, uh, one of our partners. And, and guys, you know, most of the time people think Crystal River is all about 
manatees, swimming with the manatees, and, and our favorite summertime pastime there, which has got to be uh, scalloping. But Crystal River has so much more to offer. I mean, some some of the stuff with fishing and dining and stuff. I mean, what's some of your favorite places there in Crystal River, Mike? I mean, you've been there forever. Well, forever is not that long. But, <laughs> I mean, of course, favorite place is Plantation on Crystal River. Got to get that in there. Yeah, you play golf there. Play golf. They've got and spas and there, and, and they've got their tiki own tiki bar. Yep, tiki bar and culinary um, restaurants there as well. But what about some of the other places that? We say Discover Crystal River is Citrus County, but you guys have Homosassa, you guys have Chassawitzka, you have Inverness, Floral City. I mean, on, on all those places, offer something to the out-of-town visitor that is coming to the area. Um, I tell you, see, I love Floral City. I mean, it's talk about taking a little step back to original Florida. And they've, got a, they've got a fruit stand. It was when strawberry season's out there, they got their Ferris berry, they get a strawberry pie, a strawberry cake, yeah. a strawberry milkshake. It's like strawberry festival. Go, Stop, you're making me You can OD on strawberry. Let's talk about homosassa okay. <laughs> Well, in homosassa, we have some of the best seafood because that's an original fishing village. It is. It and is. it's an incredible place to get out on the water and fish. Yeah, and there's some great restaurants oh, right there on the yeah. river. You not only have the springs, which offer some killer swimming, you know, is, especially in the summer, as hot as it's been. But I mean, you've got crumps there, yep. you've got the shed, you've got the Florida Cracker, Monkey Bar. I mean, you've got a lot of... Local, great flavors. Yep. Yes. And really down-to-earth places, you know, oh, not yeah. chain-type mm -hmm. restaurants. Sometimes we really... And then and then Inverness itself offers an awful lot there. With the depot now, we have big country concerts there. we got the Elvis Museum. we got the Elvis Museum, of course. Uh, and one of my favorite restaurants there, which is Oscar, Oscar Penn's, Penn's Oscar and Penn's. Penn's. Yeah. Oh. Council does a fantastic job. Absolutely. So if you all are looking for a place somewhere, doing a staycation in Florida, really want to to reach out to your country roots, but have some of the great amenities and the awesome fishing that we have there in Crystal River, check out Discover Crystal River uh, on the internet and, and make a reservation at the plantation. Please. Well, and then, and then enjoy our little slice of floor. All right, here at ICAST 2023, I'm with Bob from Shimano, and you guys blew it away. You got the fishing line category trophy this year for the new Master Floor Carbon. Tell me, tell me all about Master Floor Carbon. So Mastiff was born in Japan, where our company is actually based. Uh, it was released there back in January, and uh, we got some spools and we started playing around with it, but it's specifically designed for bass fishing for the most part. Can't say it can't be used in the salt water, walleye world or whatever. But the big thing with this and what we wanted to achieve is overall not strength. Okay. So what they put into this line is called nano armor. So what nano armor is and you can't see it or feel it, but it's actually ridges in the line okay. that run through the, the whole extended line. So when you go to tie a knot, that knot comes together and grips and, and grips so it binds together. So you're going to avoid uh, knot slippage, knot breakage because of nano armor. The other big thing, super soft and supple, so it casts very, very well. You're not getting that that coily on uh, some of that other foot floor carbon, which Where sometimes is good. Yeah, because you're always sitting there stretching and trying to get right. the stretch or spraying, out. Uh, uh, some type of real magic line, or whatever. Line, line enhancer. Yeah. I will tell you this, Bob. Honestly. Brian Dufix sent me a bunch of it. I've been using it in salt water, and it's worked fantastic. All those spooky redfish, all those tricky bites that you get with those big female sow trout in the springtime. Right. We've been using it. And I love it. In fact, and it I feel holds like up in the shell beds too. Holds up great, and in my opinion, it's made my whole line a leader now. So it's like. And it makes no noise. There's no sonic sound to right. it. So there's a huge advantage if you live in a, in an area where you have a lot of clear water, and you're wanting something that will give you an edge for you inshore guys. Check out this Mastiff fluorocarbon line from Shimano. It won the line category award. Why yeah. are you Why aren't you getting it? Ten sizes from four all the way to twenty. And when will it be available? Uh, September, mid September. Mid September. In your retailers, mid September. That's awesome. Thank Retails. you so much for sharing that. No Congratulations on winning the trophy. Thank you very much. All right, here at ICAST 2023, and I stopped by to see one of my favorite people in the business, Edgar Diaz. He runs Sightline Provisions. Good to see you. Hey, thanks for coming by. And if you're wondering how big he is, this guy's bigger than me. <laughs> Unbelievable. But somehow you have paired. <laughs> you have paired art 
and fishing and made it really cool. Tell me how it all got started. Well, as an artist for the past 23 years full time, uh, I was doing art festivals and just doing the, the, the circuit thing, making artwork, and then I loved the fish. And then I started with fly fishing, and I just wanted to create um, a, a bracelet, an adornment yeah. that us guys can wear and yeah, women I wear too, you yeah. know. And I kind of came up with the idea to like put these designs on a leather band that we're, we're making already for my other brand, which is a, an antique-based cuff brand. And we just started, I started showing them to fly shops and started building the, the awareness little by little. And it caught fire. And yeah, we came to ICAST 20, 2016 and walked out with 50 new retailers. Wow. And it was uh, it was kind of crazy, but you know, it, it, with all that, you just got to keep developing. You keep the stuff that you do really well so everyone can start That's buying right. it and seeing it. But, you know, developing new designs are bronze, lost cast piece like the one you have on right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and so, like, you know, we have some hats that we develop, but, you know, hats are not anything new. Right. The bracelets are where we are really uh, positioning bread. ourselves. That's yeah. our bread and butter. Bread and butter. Yeah. But uh, you've done some, you got to see this stuff. Let me walk you guys in. They put badges on turtle boxes. Yeah, you better watch out when I badge you. Oh, and, and I've, I've got one of these. I've got one of his leather glass covers at home. It's just it's got some really cool stuff. I just got one of these, so I'm not going to show it to me of that. It's got yeah. some bands for drinkware and things like that, but you guys really have some badass stuff here. And yeah. what I love is your passion for conservation. You guys are a big part of helping us with Captains for Clean Water now. So it's really turned into a great relationship. And if you haven't really discovered Sightline Provisions, how do, how do they reach you? Well, we have retailers all over the country, Dealer as well as a uh, few outside internationally. But for the most part, we're with outfitters and fly shops and also other retailers. Um, they can so order direct from you. They can order direct from us. Of course, you know, if you can go support your local shop, it's it's great because they're, they're the ones that they're on the front lines helping us That's right. so get new customers. A favor. And, yeah, exactly. But um, we've done also collaborations with other brands and uh, Captains for Clean Water. We did a great nonprofit takeover, which provided us with a way to inform and let people know about the mission statement with Captains for Clean Water. And we're all the ways in Texas, but we want to support them because it's water is for all of us and we want to make sure we're protecting it. And so supporting organizations like that and Project Killing Waters is a lot of fun. So go to our website, Sightline Provisions, and they'll tell you where your local retailer is. And if you don't have a bike, come on and we'll uh, take care of you. You heard it. Texas has got our back. We're going to have theirs when they need us. That is a wrap. That is the 2023 iCast show, and what an incredible two days of walking through the show, meeting with old friends, taking pictures with fans, and revealing to all of you some of the new products that will be coming out later this year. If you like what you're seeing here on Flats Class YouTube, give us the thumbs up, and please subscribe. I need you to be a part of this channel. The faster we grow, the more places we can go.